Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk out. We're on location at Red Car 812 in southern Indiana, shooting a review of Gold Wings uh, by Premier Gottlieb. Please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on the social media formats. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, plunger straight to columns to pop bumpers. And you have multiple ways to go here. Obviously, I have a loopy to the back, which is a ramp that spins all the way around uh, to the fourth flipper, which is to the top left. And this is a four, four flipper setup. You have two to the right, you have one to the left. You also have one that is top left middle. Our work is what you'd expect on this game due to this age. Really no call outs, nothing to that matter. Just basic old school Atari sounds for the game. And that was a death stage right, right there, ladies and gentlemen. That ball just popped right out back to my third flipper there. And as you notice here, you got a pop bumper to the middle. You have a danger zone, which is a little loopy that comes around to your third flipper to the left. Targets all the way up to center, and it's heavy blocked to the center, so the flow of this game is actually low. You have a ramp to the right, and it's lit up right now. And that will go up and around to your fourth flipper up there past the pop bumpers, which is where that ball will go if it goes to the left side of those pop bumpers. There's the ramp, fourth flipper. There we go, going around that little 180 degree ramp up there. Theme is what you'd expect. It's kind of Top Gun feelish. I've seen a lot of uh, people talk about this being a Top Gun game or it could be remade into that. Theme is what you would expect. It's obviously jet based. Gameplay is okay. Theme is okay. Replayability on this game for its age is actually there. There's a lot to shoot at. It's actually pretty fun. But as I said, it's very heavily blocked to the center of this table. Ball speed of this table is not bad either. We'll, we'll definitely rate this game I, I, roughly an 8.4 is what I think it would fall in at. It's below average. Our average is about 8.5. Is below average, but for its age, it's good for what it is. So anyway, please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. Until next time, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off. Thank you again for watching.